The victim's widow in the Grandin 7-Eleven shooting has filed a wrongful death lawsuit. And she is seeking nearly five and a half million dollars in damages. 10 News reporter Duke Carter is working for you tonight. He's live in Roanoke this evening. Duke, uh, according to the lawsuit, we've learned that the victim was shot three times. Yes. Hey, good evening, everyone. Yeah, according to the lawsuit, we learned the victim, Stephen Crowder, was shot in the back, the back of the neck, and the back of his left forearm before actually exiting the store behind me here at 7-Eleven. This all happened back in April, and police say Crowder died at the store. And so Crowder's wife is now seeking damages after losing her husband. According to the lawsuit, Crystal and Stephen Crowder were married for seven years. The lawsuit claims on Sunday, April 16th, around 8.30 in the evening, Stephen Crowder was on his way to work as a caregiver, but before leaving for work, Stephen told his wife Crystal he was going to stop by the Grandin 7-Eleven and he would see her at home later that evening. It also claims that Crowder was going to buy presumably black and mild cigars. Now, it alleges when Crowder did not have his driver's license, 20-year-old Isaiah Baldwin, the 7-Eleven clerk, made a gesture toward Crowder and a confrontation ensued. As Crowder was walking toward the exit of the store, Baldwin walked around the counter, pulled out a firearm, and fired a series of gunshots at Crowder. The lawsuit claims Baldwin was shot in the back, back of the neck, and back of the left forearm before Crowder left the store. And at that time of the shooting, a female witness rushed to give Crowder some aid, but was unable to save him. It claims that Baldwin left the scene. The lawsuit alleges Crowder did not have any weapons on him nor in his vehicle. When Crowder didn't come home, Crystal became worried and made several calls between 11 and midnight. She then made her way to the house where she and her late husband worked as caregivers. When she passed the 7-Eleven, she saw police cars and later identified Stephen as the victim when she showed police pictures of him on her phone. In a statement, lawyers tell us, quote, We are concerned about the family. There is no justification for what happened. A 14-year-old no longer has a father. End quote. Now, Isaiah Baldwin was later arrested by U.S. Marshals and charged initially with second-degree murder. And now we have learned today that has been upgraded to first-degree murder. We also reached out to 7-Eleven for comment, and we are yet to waiting to hear back. So we learn any more information, of course, we'll lay that to you. But for now, the reporting live, Duke Carter, 10 News, working for you.